Plants aren't enough. Science won't rest until every living thing on the planet can glow. Science why? Anthony here, and last week we had the team behind the Glowing Plant Kickstarter in to talk a bit about their project. And one of the questions you guys asked the most was, can we also alter the DNA of an animal to make it glow? Oh yes, we can, and we have. Basically, there's this peptide called green fluorescent protein, or GFP, it comes from a jellyfish. Scientists have isolated it, pulled it out of the jellyfish, and begun putting it in all kinds of wacky places. And by places, I mean living things. Most recently, a team at the Animal Reproduction Institute of Uruguay made some glowing sheep. They've got GFP all up in their tissue, and they glow under ultraviolet light. Why? Well, no reason really. Honestly, these sheep are more like a scientific proof of concept, but there are other animals that have it for reasons, like these marmosets. Japanese scientists used a virus to put the jellyfish gene directly into monkeys as embryos, and then the virus mutated their DNA. They actually pass the GFP peptide onto their offspring. So these monkeys are used in labs to research infectious diseases and neurological disorders, particularly Parkinson's, because things like tumor cells, genes, and toxins running through a body are all easier to see and study when they glow. GFP is also used in cats to do AIDS research. See, monkeys and cats can both contract a form of AIDS. Both species have these proteins that are called restriction factors that normally defend against viruses, but they're ineffective against HIV or FIV, which is the cat version. So scientists had this crazy idea. What would happen if you gave a cat a monkey's restriction factors? Would a monkey protein fight the feline version of AIDS. So to find out, they made some monkey proteins glow with GFP, and then they put them into some cat eggs, put the cat eggs into a cat womb. Cat gives birth to glowing kittens, and the scientists can actually watch the glowing proteins and see if they were effectively fighting off the virus. And they were. So thanks, glowing animals, because that stuff may be relevant to human AIDS research. In all these cases, it doesn't seem like the GFP causes any change to the animal other than the glow, which, yeah, it's a pretty noticeable change but in terms of health and behavior, they seem to be exactly the same. You know, I was thinking, so far, all of these animals were created for scientific purposes. I have to wonder, now that somebody's kickstarted a glowing plant for everyone, how long until we see designer glowing pets? And how would you feel if that happened? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News. I actually would not mind a glowing hand for when I lose things at the bar or under a couch. <laughs>